British Prime Minister Boris Johnson announced that his government would take legal action against public procurement ferry company P&O for the unannounced layoff of 800 workers over possible breaches of the law. We are taking legal action against the company under the Employment, Unions and Industrial Relations Act 1992. It's the right thing to do because it appears they broke the law, he said at the executive branch weekly scrutiny session in the Commons. Labour leader Keir Starmer, for his part, called on the Prime Minister to ensure that P&O Ferries and DP World, their Dubai-based parent company, don't get a penny more in tax money or tax breaks until they reintegrate the workforce. Starmer regretted that since Johnson took office in 2019, P&O has received more than £38 million in government contracts, while DP World, which manages port terminals, is a candidate to receive around £50 million. And that's also public money as part of the government's plan to set up free ports with tax exemptions in various parts of the country. On March 17th, P&O, which mainly connects the United Kingdom with continental Europe and Ireland, surprised the secession of all voyages for a few days and um, the immediate dismissal of 800 seafarers of various nationalities who, due to their financial situation, were on ships with different flags. After public outcry over the sudden layoff of 800 P&O ferries crew members, the company has announced compensation. The British ferry company has set up a £36.5 million fund, it said. The fired crew members are to be paid two and a half months salary, but at least £15,000. Around 40 former employees can receive £100,000, some even £170,000, depending on the length of their service. The ship's employees were released a week ago without any warning and led off the ship by security guards, some of whom were handcuffed. The image damage is enormous for P&O Ferries and the parent company DB World from Dubai, which also operates two of the largest freight terminals in Great Britain, London Gateway and Southampton. P&O justified the redundancies with a £100 million loss last year. Without the decision, all 3,000 jobs in the company would have been at risk. DP World bought P&O Ferries in 2019 for £322 million. The company, which is majority owned by the Emirates ruling family, says it has invested nearly £2 billion in Britain over a decade and plans to invest further. The PR disaster surrounding P&O doesn't help. The unions are advising the fired crew members not to take up the offer while they consider legal action. According to the RMT union, new cheap crews from India, Indonesia or the Philippines will be hired. Some reports spoke of extreme dumping wages of £1.80 an hour without providing any evidence. P&O rejected the dumping allegation and emphasized that the new crews were well trained and would meet all safety standards. Chief Executive Peter Hebblewaith uh, wrote that the reaction to the layoffs had been very negative and expected but he now hopes the storm is over. Yeah, of course he hopes that one. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.